typically when you're talking about a two-in-one laptop, you're talking about something like this, which is Lenovo's new Yoga 9i 2-in-1, and it converts from a typical clamshell, and if you fold back the screen, suddenly you have a tablet. However, at CES 2024, Lenovo is using 2-in-1 in a slightly different fashion for this, the new ThinkBook Plus Gen 5 Hybrid, because as you can see right here, we have a standard clamshell laptop, but if I do this, I can yank the display off, and suddenly this thing turns into a standalone Android tablet, while over here we have a laptop base that has everything you need to run Windows 11. Now that's really cool. But it gets better because if we grab an external monitor like this and plug this in, suddenly we have two completely separate devices running two completely separate OS's. So we're literally talking about two devices in one. To add some synergy between these two different devices, Lenovo has also added some helpful apps and software like this hybrid folder, which is how you'll transfer files and stuff between devices. All you have to do is drag and drop something from the hybrid folder on the Android tablet, and it'll magically show up in the hybrid folder over here, and it transfers wirelessly, so it's really, really fast. And the hybrid folder shows up as a separate drive in Windows, so all your stuff is really, really easy to manage. If we set the laptop up like this, we can even use the Android tablet as a standalone wireless display, so you get two displays. Now, it's important to mention, this external display does come separate, so you have to buy that on your own. However, you can also use the tablet as a Wacom-style tablet for drawing and sketching and all that using uh, Lenovo's Freestyle app. Now, unfortunately, this is CES. Uh, live demos never go well, and we couldn't get the Freestyle system working because the internet's just a little bit wonky over here. But you can draw stuff down here, and it'll show up on here. Not only it can be used as a separate wireless display, but also as a drawing tablet. Now, if we set it up back as a traditional laptop, just by dropping the display on here, it'll switch back into Windows mode, and now it takes a couple seconds sometimes. A couple drawbacks I have noticed so far is that the travel depth on these keys is a bit shallow, so you're not getting the most comfy typing experience, but I think that's kind of okay, given this thing's really wild design. And then when we're talking about specs, both devices, even though they are two devices in one, have pretty solid specs, especially the laptop version, which comes with an Intel Core Ultra 7 processor, an integrated Intel Arc GPU, up to 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM, one terabyte of storage, and has a 75 watt hour battery with a 100 watt power adapter. The other drawback to this sort of design is that there aren't a ton of ports. There's two Thunderbolt 4 ports across the entire device. Uh, so you get one here on the right and then one here on the left and the tablet part itself doesn't actually have any ports on it at all. Meanwhile, when it comes to the specs of just the tablet, it's not quite as powerful, but more than good enough for everyday use, especially if you're using it just for browsing at home or on the couch. We're talking about a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip, 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, with a 14-inch 2.8K OLED display, and a pretty good color gamut at 100% DCI-P3. So altogether, Lenovo has always been known to do something kind of wacky with its ThinkBook Plus series, but this is kind of the most compelling version of it all because you have your laptop and your Android tablet. You basically have your cake and you can eat it too. Now, before we go, I also want to talk really quickly about another new Ultra Portable that Lenovo has in store for CS24, which is this, the ThinkBook 13X Gen 4. And as you can see, it's a really nice, slim Ultra Portable device, 13 inch display, and this one has as we saw from last year, that magic bay. So you can have accessories and you can just attach them magnetically. This one happens to be the studio camera. So you get a nice 4K camera plus two extra speakers. Now, the cool thing is that Lenovo is making some interesting alternate versions of the ThinkBook 13X Gen 4. And here's an example. This is the seashell version. Now, it doesn't have that magic bay expandability, but what it does have is what Lenovo is calling the world's first stainless magnesium alloy chassis. So obviously it has a different paint job, but it's actually even lighter. And unlike some previous magnesium based systems, it's gonna be more resistant to corrosion. So you're gonna get that super lightness and some extra durability. And then finally over here, we have the SPE concept versions of the ThinkBook 13X Gen 4. And as you can see, it's using Lenovo's e-ink prism tech on the lid of the laptop. If you can see, I can flip it around like that. And this allows you 
pretty much infinite color customization options. So obviously it's really cool because this is Color E-Ink, which is something we've been waiting for for a long time. But it also gives you just so many options on how to personalize and customize the look of your system. And it's super easy. And because it's E-Ink, it shouldn't have too much of an impact on overall battery life. Okay, so that's just a really quick look at some of the most interesting laptops Lenovo has on display for CES 2024. And if you're interested in it, stay tuned for more news as the ThinkBook Plus Gen 5 Hybrid is scheduled to come out sometime in Q2 for around $2,000, while the ThinkBook 13X Gen 4 will be available sometime in Q1, maybe late early Q2, for around $1,400. But for more from everything at CES 2024, Stay tuned to Engadget.com and then come back to us on YouTube for more news, videos, and hands-ons.